Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Michael. Bonjour. Bonjour, Olivier. This is also Zach. What's up, bitch? <laughs> um, yes. So, we are so happy that you are back listening to our... So happy. Little podcast we call Lipstick and the Tea. Well, speaking of... It's still glitter farts. <laughs> on the fucking on the thing. Fucking no, but we're changing thing. that shit real quick. Yes, that's about oh to change. God, so anyways, works. if anybody has any confusion about that, listen to episode three. Anyways, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, <think too. laughs> I am so excited about today because we are talking about one of my passions in life. I love it more than anything. We are talking about the fragrance. <coughs> fragrance. Parfum. Parfum. Collagen. <laughs> 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 oh my god so anyway victoria secret <laughs> so um the first thing i want to say is i want to i want to just tell everybody that's listening if you are new to fragrance or if you are a fragrance aficionado like i am there are totally different types of fragrance there are eau de parfums eau de toilettes eau de parfum pure perfumes colognes and then trash <laughs> which um speaking of trash zach what do you think about fragrance? What's your favorite fragrance? I like it like when it smells good. Uh, what's my favorite fragrance? Are we starting yeah. off there? We're starting off there? Yes. I want to know what all of our favorite fragrances are and why. I love like a good sweet citrus. Like I like oh, smelling like you want to fucking bite me, you know? Mm. Like so one of my favorites right now, it's a newer one. It's the Atelier. Pacific Lime. Mm -hmm. It's actually one of the first fragrances that has real coconut in it, not like oh. the synthetic coconut shit. Okay. It, imagine like being like on a beach in Cabo, like sipping on like a pina colada, just like chilling, or like with ounce. like some body oil, like body tan oil, you know, like imagine the body tanning oil mixed with like a citrus pina colada. That's what it reminds me of. Mm. Like it's like just like vacation and like it's the winter in fucking Colorado. So I just want a vacation and so I've been praying the shit out of that. And he ain't lying on that one because the last time we recorded you were wearing it and I was I kept on asking you, What the fuck are you wearing? It smells it's so like a tropical good. starburst. Like you know like oh, how there's okay. starburst and then mm -hmm. there's tropical starburst where yes. there's, there's like Skittles or tropical Skittles. Imagine opening that bag when you first open it and it's that's what it smells like. It smells like fucking candy. Mm. And everybody wanna take a bite of this. A ca candy? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so Atelier is a fragrance house that is from uh, Paris, Adelier. France. Um, Atelier. <laughs> they, it's um, a married couple, and they are considered a cologne absolu. So cologne absolus are kind of new to the game. Oh, everybody knows about eau de toilettes, eau de parfums. Mm. Cologne, cologne is at technically the weakest of all the fragrances. So they decided to say, you know what, why, why does cologne have such a bad reputation on being a weak fragrance? So that's why they chose to say cologne absolute. So it's called Pacific Lime, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful one. A beautiful one. I love it. And it works really great with your body chemistry. It's better than smelling shit on you all the time. <laughs> Juicy? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, what about fuck. you, Olivia? My go-to, like, like the love of my life fragrance is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. Mm. Oh, you basic-ass hell. Oh, <laughs> shut up, bitch. That shit smells so good on me. It's probably one of the best fucking fragrances It's a good fragrance. Me. It is. It no, is. no, no, no. Okay, I got a story for this shit. Like, this fragrance smells so fucking fragrance. good on me. <laughs> this fragrance. <laughs> this fragrance. This fragrance. Fragrance. Fragrance smells so so fucking good on me. Um, I went to Vegas for the first time when I was like 24. Okay. Oh, look at you. Like a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah. And um, <laughs> I wish. Yeah. So like, yeah, a couple years, like not a couple years ago, almost, <laughs> almost like six years ago, I went to Vegas for the first time and my friend took me to a strip club and I'm getting a lap dance from like this like really buff bald dude. Whatever. Oh, okay. What? Oh, okay. Yes. I thought she was going to say a buff bald girl. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like that I would have been okay too. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I, don't I mind. love women strippers. But like this fucking dude like just like stops in the middle of like of like him like just like dancing on me and he's like, he's like, what, what fragrance are you wearing? You're like, and sweat. I, and, I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, flower bomb. <laughs> and he's like, oh my God. He's like, you smell amazing. 
He's like, I'm mm. like, he, he's pretty much Where like, I'm, like, I'm, I just I'm addicted. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> but I'm like, but I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, it smells so good because uh, Flower Bomb is so unique because it's like kind of sweet and it's deeper, and, but it has patchouli. When people yeah. think of patchouli, patchouli kind of like is like Sounds very, like yeah, you know, it's very like intense, you know, and it like gets a bad rep for being like an old lady fragrance because it's very, and like, I, it no, stings the yep, nostrils, you know what I mean? And nothing pisses me off more when people say i don't want to smell like an old lady it's not about age it's about your body chemistry yes your ph balance Mm -hmm. oh that pisses me off and it's also funny too because flower bomb doesn't have a lot of vanilla in it which everybody thinks it's oh it's a vanilla scent no it's not i don't even think it's really considered a gourmand gourmand by the way means edible you can eat it like a flan yeah like (laughs) Like a rotisserie I, chicken. I don't know where the fuck he comes up with this shit. I swear to God. Like a rotisserie. If this was the 1930s, he'd be in a mental institution. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what, the 1930s? <laughs> it's a year. <laughs> it sounds boring. <laughs> Oh God! What's your favorite fragrance, Michael? Since you have to cover up so much odor. Uh, <laughs> anyways, is it Axe? <laughs> Bond. I it's Bond, man. Bond. Oh my God! I hate those sprays. They just like like looks like Listerine. When it looks like fucking Windex. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, both of you bitches are wrong because it's Ginate. Anyways, they don't know what that is. Anyway, okay. So, anyways, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, what? Olivia's looking at you like, what? <laughs> Look up Ginate. She at you like okay. I looked at you. Normally. It's a fragrance. It's a body splash that was really popular in the 60s and 70s with women. And it was called Ginate. Anyways, my favorite fragrance of all time is not carried in any stores anymore except for certain... Because no one liked it? <laughs> no, because it's a classic fragrance. It has um, a African violet in it. It's called Magé Noir by Lancôme. And it Ooh. is a, it's an intoxicating fragrance. Every time I wear it, it smells so good. It is vibrant. It's sexy. It's too much for you trash because <laughs> you guys just wouldn't understand it. it it's, it's, it's a gourmand mixed with a floriental. And every time I can Florental. get... Yes, Florental. Yeah. Oh, shoot, there's, that's crazy. Thank you. That's Olivia's nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Easy Rider. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, Magé Noir by Lancôme, it's a classic scent. Um, you, I believe you can only get it um, through the Lancôme website. And um, next time I get gas money and money to like buy a little Caesar's pizza because Olivia has <laughs> been supporting me, I'm going to buy me a bottle. Yep. But yeah, anyways, I love it. It's a classic scent and um, it's considered a, to the young people. Is it strong? It's strong. Good. Because you, I'm sure someone like you. <laughs> what needs... do you mean somebody like me? Mexican? <laughs> I wasn't saying Mexican. I was saying sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that he said my Disney character? Oh, actually, I came up with it. But yeah. Oh my god, this is really funny. <laughs> so we were talking about Disney characters. And I'm like, I'm like Pocahontas, and he's like, um, I'd be Porcahontas. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> anyway, okay, Zach, give us another favorite fragrance of yours. This is the fragrance. So like. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. This is the fragrance <laughs> I wear when I want to go out and get laid. Like, oh. it's the fragrance that I wear that, like, I always get head on. I get my drink spot for me. Like, it's a fragrance if you want to get lucky, honestly. If you go out and do a collab and you don't want to pay for shit, you just go order a water and you get the rest of your drink spot for you the night. YSL Black Opium. Bitch! Oh. It's one of mine, yeah. Dude, yep, I love it. That is, like, that fragrance. Another patchouli fragrance. Beautiful. Yes. But I, like... Some I like wearing it on its own, but sometimes I also like mixing it with like more of like an orange based fragrance, like orange mm-hmm. sanguine from Atelier again, or like even um, the Clementine California from Atelier because it brings out the orange blo- orange blossom a little bit more mm-hmm. and makes oh, it look more. Look at you knowing the notes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Of course, it... bitch. I know what I put on my body. Yeah, because it has <laughs> yeah. orange blossom, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. Yeah. Co- yeah. yeah. So like some like that makes it more daytime appropriate. But if I'm wanting to go out at night and I want to go party and I go dance and I need like a strong fragrance like that's gonna like catch someone's attention more, especially like with all the smells going on in the club, you need it to catch their attention. I wear a black opium, and I, that's the fragrance I get the most compliments on. I love and black opium. Like, yeah, it's beautiful. It is beautiful, and it's a it's a uh, homage to the original opium by um, Yves Saint Laurent. That is a stronger uh, version of um, 
it's almost like in the same category as Christian Dior's Poison, the original Chanel number no. five. But for you millennials, they had to update it because you cannot make handle it a, better. You can <coughs> handle a classic fragrance flagrance like true women like me can. So, Olivia, what about you? Um, one of my also like absolute favorites is Dolce and Gabbana oh, yeah. number three. <laughs> Your absolute favorites. <laughs> What the fuck? I heard I'm too. slurring. Okay, I'm, I'm like, slurring. She said fragrance. She's like, one of my absolute fragrances. God damn it. Okay. One of I my absolute fragrances, bitch. Is... Favorite fragrances. I think you just mixed no, them together. We're not, drinking, we're not drinking at all. We're drinking the tea tonight. Kombucha and the Dolce & Gabbana number three. La Imbatrice. Yes. Oh, La Imbatrice. I That's love that one. That's a beautiful fragrance because it's like... The notes are like grapefruit and like watermelon. watermelon. It reminds kiwi. me of yes, kiwi. It's so. like it's lightly sweet. It does kind of fade a little bit throughout the day because it's not overly sweet. It's not. It's not meant to, you know, like be um, overpowering, uh-huh. overpoweringly sweet throughout the like day. Like a pot of candy or something. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like it kind of like softens down and it's very feminine it's, a delicate. it's very feminine and cute and and every time like I wear this fragrance I feel like. It makes me feel more feminine. So, close your eyes and think about this. <laughs> Open it up. A big thing of Smarties. Does that not remind you of the Dolce & Gabbana? Not it reminds Smarties, me of bitch. Smarties. I think of a classic cold waterfall glistening with champagne and chips of watermelon. And some Smarties. And <laughs> <laughs> some fucking Smarties. No, and, bitch, it reminds me of Smarties. No, I love it. It's sparkling. It's a sparkling. Yes, it kind. Of, yeah, it has it's like a sparkling. A sparkling, sparkling yeah, it's it really reminds me of like a, like or like the. A lot of people won't know this, but like the Japanese um, candy, candy, like yes, the, the, yeah, the, exactly. the you know the soda candy, the yes! ramu man or something. Yes, 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 yes. Soda candy. That's what it reminds That's me. That's what of. it reminds me of. Absolutely. But Smarties is an easier. Um, I know nothing about this Asian candy yeah. because I'm Mexican, but, but I know about it. Smells pork just rind. like that, right? Yeah, it just I'm has a, it has a very rind. like fun like. Flirty, I don't like the ones that aren't hot and spicy. <laughs> but still, like sophisticated. You exactly. know, it's not. It's like if you are still wanting to be like professional and stuff, but still like those sweet fragrances. But you want and you're like, not committing a to like a yeah. tropical one, like the Atelier. You know, you're yeah, wanting more, absolutely. Yeah. Like it's definitely like pretty much like anybody can smell, and they'll be like, yeah, it's a little bit sweeter, mm-hmm. but it's not. It's like, elevated. Yeah, but it's like a. It's a sweet fragrance that, like, most people tend to enjoy. Yeah, so. I love it. Like that ass. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's great for all occasions. Yes. It's good winter fragrance, summer fragrance. Da, da, da. I love it. If My you're in, like, space. <laughs> in, <laughs> there's a fragrance that smells like space, and they say it's meat and metal. I'm, I can't Ew. even make this up. Like iron and meat. <laughs> yep, it's like true. Blood. Like a hot dog? Look, yeah, look it up. Like a slab of <laughs> turkey. So my next favorite fragrance iron. is um, by Dior. It is called Hypnotic Poison. It wow. is, oh, Christian. Yes, it is uh, Tahitian vanilla, bitter almond, and jasmine sambac. It is the sexiest fragrance ever. Every time I wear this, I have men, women, dogs. Hives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not allergic to the shit. Allergic to it. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes swell up, but god damn, I smell good. <laughs> but no, no, describe it more. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting. No. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said <laughs> hives. It's <laughs> like, baby, I can't see you, but don't I smell don't good? smell good, baby. <laughs> Do I smell like your love? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take a brief intermission. <laughs> oh, shit. Intermission. Okay, also, I just have to say this real quick. Another one that if you, like what Zach said, the vulgar getting laid thing, because that's just vulgar and rude. Um, Everybody does it. It's natural. Okay. If you're not getting laid, I'm sorry. Okay. So I apologize. If you want <laughs> it's too late. to wear something where people will keep be on you like white on rice, holy crap. Why Lucky. gotta be white? What? La Vie Belle. Oh, La Vie Belle. Yeah. La Vie Belle, bitch. Mm. Has that's- iris. 
That's um, helped me out a few Vanilla times. Vanilla and Praline. Yes, girl. La Vie Belle by Lancome. It is beautiful. It is sweet. It's seductive. And um, it, uh, there's, I can't... It's beautiful. It's like a classic fragrance. It smells, but like what this one is good about, it smells great on like your eight year old grandma and it smells great on your like 19 year old cousin. Like yes. it, it smells, be- it almost it's changes beautiful. like depending on who you are. Yep. It can go really powdery sometimes, which is still beautiful. Oh. Or it can go super sweet and like I very like almost tart, fresh, you know? It's or like true. really floral. Like it's just an awesome fragrance. I love fragrances that morph to the wearer. Yep. You know, sometimes that, like, doesn't always work out for you. Like, it might not be a good fragrance for you because it doesn't sit well on your body. But, like, I love fragrances that are different on everyone because it's more of, like, a unique experience for you. Exactly. You and know? I love that you said that because that was one of my points with this. I also get tr- driven crazy when I have clients come in and say, oh, my friend was wearing this. It smells so good on her. I want to wear it. I'm like, okay, well, hold up. Hold Let's up. See smells good on you. You know, hold up. Try it out for a couple days, you know. Um... Just because it smells good on her doesn't mean it's going to smell good on you. You have to make it yours. You have to make it yours. And if it is a, let's say, a, a citrus family or a patchouli family or a woodsy family, find something comparable that smells even better on you. You know, that um, you can make your own and, and rock it. I love it. So, okay, Olivia, give us a good fragrance. And I want to hear a good fragrance story from you because I know you got one my stripper story I fucking told you that is a good story yeah she told one bitch. I told one but I have another one I have another really she good got two <laughs> she got fucking two <laughs> um I was really trying to get intimate with you and you just fucking attacked me I said my stripper <laughs> liked my fragrance okay by the way I never realized Olivia is such a mean drunk <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just laugh like I'm a nice. fucking go. <laughs> I don't either. You sounded like Stevie Nicks. You're the greatest of all time. No, you're um, not. Michael, don't let that get to you. Okay, head. so another one it's of my fragrances. I literally have a 6.7 ounce bottle of this shit. Can you guess? What else comes in 6.7 ounces? Is it some, show. No. No, no, no. It's like, is it some rep? No, what is that? EO 10 Crosby? No. Clinique Happy. No. Oh, God. Oh, um, Victoria's Secret Love Spell. <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> Victoria's Secret Rapture. <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch. Um, Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. Didn't he oh. say that? No, she didn't. No, so I said number three earlier. No, I said didn't. I thought Michael guessed that. No, what if I would guess? You guessed happy and whatever. Clean but, happy. Yeah, but really light blue. I love light blue guess? because. No. I do love an aquatic, like citrusy fragrance. I love and the aquatic. What's cool? What's cool about this fragrance is that it has like green apple, absolute citron. Yes, absolute citron. Is and that a vodka? Jasmine. It has vodka in it. Jasmine. Yeah. Like absolute the vodka. Bluebell. The vodka. Yep. It's a citron. Let's try to keep up. Yeah, bitch. I think <laughs> absolute so. citron. Wow. Should I, like, time... should I just be like, can I order that light blue? <laughs> <laughs> Next time, uh, put your vodka on your body and then. Let your fire. I've done that a couple I times. I absolutely <laughs> love this fragrance for the because pores. even on days where like I'm not doing shit, like I'm still wearing my sweatpants. I have like a little bit of makeup on. My hair is up like in a bun. I'm wearing like a white t-shirt or just like a regular basic like sweatshirt. I put eating a Cheetos light- on the couch. Just yes, farting. <laughs> yes. I put a little bit of light blue <laughs> on, and it's like automatically like makes me feel more sophisticated and like like carefree. It just, like, puts you in it. Like, do you ever... There's a few fragrances that, like, I don't wear ever. I don't wear them. I don't like wearing them on me. But I will spray them, like, on my sheets or my pillow. Oh, yeah. Before I go to bed. Easy, easy. Like, one of my favorites... Because I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my favorites is um, Sauvage from Christian Dior, that cologne. Really? I love going to sleep with the smell of Sauvage in my... See, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like anything smelling like... Dude? A man, unless it's... A man. <laughs> you know? I, know, I like that. I li- like, I feel- like a man's fart. <laughs> no, I'm not into that. I'm okay. Anyways, yeah, I don't care what you're into, Croso. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I love sleeping to the smell of that one. I think it smells mm. so good. Or the Derek Ten Crosby Silent Street, and that's like oh, complete opposite. Derek it's Lamb. Like, yeah. Derek, whatever. Tan Lamb. <laughs> Ting Tong Lei. <laughs> oh God. Oh, Derek God. Larry Crosby. <laughs> I do like that. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> what? Nothing. It's yeah, but like that understand. one is like very yeah. feminine and light and like yeah. floral. So it's either I like Szechuan one of those pepper, two. Or it's like totally and rocks. opposite. And by the way, I am not looking these up. I just know these notes. No, he has. Like, yeah, a, if you want to talk about fragrance, Michael knows his fucking fragrance. He has an iPad in front Fra- of him. Fragrance. Yeah, that we're using to record. Oh, whoops. We don't have an iPad in front of us. We actually have mics and headphones and all that stuff. Yeah, that's it. We have hanging lights that say stripper. <laughs> Speaking of strippers, my favorite fragrance story is about my mom. And my, <laughs> she was not a stripper. Um, my mom used to wear. Um, oh God, are you ready for this? Yes. My mom used to wear original Paris by Yves Saint Laurent. Ooh. And um, we didn't have a lot of money growing up, and I remember her going and getting her um, J C Penny when they used to sell prestige fragrances, not Sephora inside J C Penny. Um, she used to go get a credit card and charge her bottle. Yearly bottle of Yves Saint Laurent Paris fragrance, and to <coughs> this day, um, I still look at a bit on eBay, Amazon because you can't find it anywhere, and it goes for insane amounts of money. But it just reminds me of my mom because she was very, she was a very feminine woman, and she's no longer here with us, Aww. and um, it's just my. It brings you to her. Yes, and it's my connection with her. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know where this is came from. Came from, but um. I just miss her, and I just think about the way she used to smell, and, uh, yeah, sorry, I don't know where that came from. Oh, it's Anyways, so Zach, wow. go ahead. Oh, no, because it's crazy, because, like, fragrance um, can really bring you to, like, a time and place. Yes. Yeah, like, Beverly's. Um, one fragrance that, like, reminds me of my mom is, um, Lipstick On. Oh, Mason Re- uh, replica. Replica, I yeah. Because she always wore those luxury lipsticks. And I remember being young and like sneaky kid and taking her <laughs> lipsticks. And that yes. smell of those luxury lipsticks, like back in the day, yes. like the Chanel and the Estee Lauder and the like, like all those fragrances had like a specific lipstick smell. And lipstick on from Mason Margiela capture that. And so, like, whenever I smell it, like, I don't wear that fragrance, but. I have that fragrance because it just reminds me of her. Oh, I love you know? it. See? It's like yeah. It's like, so like with yeah. me, with me, every time I smell kimchi, I think oh. of my mom. <laughs> every time I smell kimchi, I think of your mom too. Because I want to steal it every time I look my at your fridge. My mom would be so pissed if she heard me say that. <laughs> How, what would she, what would she Kimchi's say? Kimchi's like rancid <laughs> ass shit sometimes. What would she, She'd be so fucking pissed. What would she say in her voice? <laughs> She'd be like, Olivia, I don't smell like a kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't smell like a kimchi oh all the time. God. So Michael's mom smells like Paris. My mom smells like lipstick. And your mom smells like kimchi. kimchi. No, yeah. my mom loves Chloe. <laughs> Um, Narcisse, she loves, the original loves, love story. Oh, I love oh, I love, love story. Yeah, my mom loves love story. I love that story. You know, speaking of mothers um, and fragrance and memories, Olivia, I just have to say, your mom is so put together. She's so polished. She's, She's cute. so nice. I don't. I don't get. I wish we could see her more, but. You know, she's like in a room, and she didn't like it when I knocked and tried to lay in bed with her the other night. <laughs> Whatever. Well, because you're kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one thing I want to say is, if you are going and finding your own signature scent, for the love of God, if you see coffee beans, run as fast as you can in the other direction. Starbucks. Because, yes, because <laughs> coffee beans do nothing, people. Yeah, they do nothing. it's a I myth, mean, Eve Saint Laurent, Black Opium, has coffee in one of its notes. So if you're going to oh. smell coffee and then smell Eve Saint Laurent, it's going to bring out that note so much more. So it's going to change the way the fragrance smells. Yes. That's one specific example okay, of how so coffee I'm can change the way it smells. Michael. Yes. So if somebody asks for coffee beans after they've been smelling all these fragrances because they need to quote unquote clean their palate. You say go yeah. home, you dumb bitch. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah. So how You've had do enough. you she already done half hers? hers is... <laughs> <laughs> so then how do you like Clean kinda... your passive clean your palate? Clean your <laughs> clean your passage. <laughs> With your favorite fragrance? What did she say? Oh, my, up. my favorite fragrance is... <laughs> did you give me a Okay, so this is the correct way to do it. I looked this up. I figured it out. You have them smell their own sleeve. You have them smell the inside of their purse. Or if they're with somebody else, have them smell the other person's jacket. And I know this sounds weird. But smell their underarm. Because it's something familiar. Ew. But if they're clean, it's good. You know what I mean? 
Why do you think of like shopping with you or Olivia? And I'm not smelling y'all. Why is Olivia on Tinder? I don't think people would want to smell their own armpits. Smell but the inside of your shirt. You smell yes. the inside of your shirt, which is something that's familiar it's to you. It's familiar. Smell something that's familiar. Like Unless your... you're Michael and you wear bod man spray, then don't smell the inside of your shirt. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell bod, much less wear it. Oh, okay. That's so when so guys bad. wear axe and bod and all that shit. Or even, what is that nuts. fucking frat boy fragrance? It's, is it Giorgio Armani? Is it? Aqua de Jeu. Aqua de Jeu. Oh, oh my, god. my god. That reminds me of frat boys so much. If you're a man and listening to this. Which... If you're a guy and listening to this, please wear some aquatic fragrances. I like aquatics. Mm-hmm. They smell really wear nice. Wear some Savat. Wear like, do you know this adventure out? Don't just do Aqua de Jeu because that's what you've been wearing Versace since Versace Eau Fraiche. Oh. That one's one of my favorites. Prada Luna, 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 Luna Rosa Sport. Prada oh, Luna love Rosa. that. Prada Luna Rosa Sport is one of the best fragrances for men ever. Also, Tom Ford... Noir extreme. Ugh. That one's like an intense one, though. Yeah, if you're it's more like into like, pause. it depends on like if you're more into like, because like some men like the sport fragrances because they're lighter. Other men like want to like be smelled. You know, if you like to be smelled, you want to be sniffed. Comfort. Yeah. So hey, so since we're on the subject, do you like the natural scent of someone, like a significant other, a. Uh, Significant boyfriend. other bitch, we all single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm talking in the I'm like, past or whatnot. Shower. I'm talking in the past or whatnot. Like, I love the natural scent of oh, a I man. love it when a guy smells like laundry. No, I want, I, I, I don't mind a, a little bit like of laundry. bio. I don't mind a little bit of, um, you know, the smell behind the ears or in the huh? belly button. Ew. Ew. Why are you smelling behind there? Why are you smelling the belly button? <laughs> Why am I smelling the I'm belly button? Did you hear <laughs> say smell it? I was gonna let it go, but then when you said fragrance, <laughs> she didn't. She said, oh my god, I hate all of you. <laughs> no, but smelly. I like the, I like it when a guy smells like laundry. I think it's cool. I like when a guy smells like dirty laundry. <laughs> That's gross. Like, Why? Why is it gross? No one's gonna We're agree animals. with you on that one. We are animals. Get your I'm, shit together. If you smell like dirty laundry, please don't talk to me. I'm not talking about the mildew scent. I'm talking about the natural smell of a man. Ew. Men you don't know? naturally smell that good, yeah. to be honest. I know. That's what I'm, I'm sitting about. next to Olivia right now. so I can... <laughs> She has a natural fragrance that is great, okay? Okay, we're... In... <laughs> anyway. Thank you, next um, bitch. <laughs> I think we can all attest that this episode... Amounted to nothing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but it was fun. Yeah. Um, Please would... tell us your fra- <laughs> favorite. <laughs> your <Fragrances>. favorite. <laughs> and, yes. and, and tell us what you like to smell. <laughs> <laughs> what you like to sn- smell like. Um, but you know what? Honestly, I would love to do this again in the future. Yes. See um, where we're like, our palettes have changed. See if our palettes have changed. If See we... if Michael's less gross and <laughs> smelling some weird old dude's <laughs> armpit and fucking belly button. Belly button. Oh, that's just the beginning of the iceberg or the ice tip. <laughs> the tip what is it? The tip? <laughs> the tip beginning of the, of the ice tip. tip. <laughs> the tip of the dip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, let us know what your answer's favorites are. Let us know your personal favorite and also what you like to smell out of other people. Cause yes. Because changes. Exactly. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also go to your local uh, department stores. Smell these. Get samples at your local uh, beauty retailers and let us know what you think about our picks. Yes. That's going to be great. And also, yes, queen. Yes, and follow us on Instagram, Lipstick and the Tea. That's our handle. Uh, we also have, of course, the YouTube channel Glitter Farts, which is changing. <laughs> Listen to episode three. We'll explain that. I think it's episode two. And you know, it's three, bitch. It's three. Whatever. I you don't know, I don't know what you're smoking or smelling, <laughs> but you need to calm it down. Okay, thanks. Love you. Bye. Love Bye. you guys. Bye.